Oh, jeez, I don't know. I think I prefer his work with the Furious Five much more. He had more street cred back hey, then. Hey, thanks for coming to my party, guys. Oh, uh, Coach Z is down with the P.E. You know, and I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, Mom helped me do the fruit, and I did the sewing. Oh, looking good, Strong Bad. The Chiquita Banana Lady, that's great. Oh, Chiquita, but for the last time, I'm Carmen Freaky Miranda. Yesterday, I was out in the garden, and I was weeding, and there was this little worm. Oh, everybody looks so great. You know, there's more punch over there if anybody wants any. All right, everybody, line up. We're going to play Flashlight Ghost Storytelling with a Flashlight. We should stand boy, girl, boy, girl. Good one, Marcy Pan. That way we know it's fail. I get to stand next to you, Humstar. Nope. I'm standing next to Bubs. You get to stand next to Strong Bad. <sighs> Psst. Hey, Marcy Pan. Is my slip showing? Okay, okay, okay. I'll go first. Um, okay. Once. There was this green goblin, and um, he used to look around, and um, I guess he did a dance. Oh man, that was terrible. And the goblin, he had a gremlin, and he jacked up on some fat tires. And uh, and he super up with a 411 body track out back, 750 double bumper, and a rock intake, 4 over 30, 11 to 1 pop up pistons, turbo jet, 390 horsepower. I mean, he has a freaking muscle. One of the girls had a cute little kitten named Kitty Kitty. The other girl had a cute little puppy named Chris. And then the third girl was a Republican. Oh, brother, give me that. So then the robot came and he started vaporizing everybody with his vapor gun. And he was like, you take this, that's stupid, you. And you take this, everybody's gonna die. And then he said, oh, the gremlin. I hate the gremlin, gremlin. Ah! I need to get some more punch. Ooh, ooh, and then there was fried fish and heavenly ham and Salisbury sundaes and globs of meringue and strawberry frosted donuts and bowls full of jelly and Klondike pudding and scrubs as fiddles and doo doo hoo 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 And so it turns out the robot had a human brain that was stolen from a kindly old man. And the children of that old man came to the robot looking for their father, and they called out to him. And the robot's human brain remembered his children and his stolen life, and he was moved to tears. But the tears shorted out his circuits and fried his brain. And the robot toppled over, and he crushed his children and the goblin too. And none of them lived. <laughs> oh, jeez, what a total downer. Oh, man, I'm out of here. That's the saddest story I've ever heard. You can't come to next year's party. <laughs> Gee, thanks for coming to my party, Strong Thad. <sighs> Oh, hello. This year we're going to do things a little differently. We're all coming to your house to trick or treat. 
So just answer the door, pick a treat, we'll do the rest. Okay, bye. Do well, I'll drink up all the Hennessy you got on your shelf. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Coach Z. Pronounce with an Oj Z. You know, I once knew a fella in Boston could tell you the time of day at any time of the day. You'd say, Say there, Boston, what's the time of day? And he'd say, 10.30. And you'd look at him and say, But Boston, it's half past noon. And he'd look back at you and say, Well, those are the breaks. Trick or treat, I'm horrible. You got that right. Ooh, a stick of butter. <laughs> Trick or treat! Again, please! <laughs> it's all the fridge on a little parry running! No! 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 Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, trick or treat. Hey, rice cakes. I like to eat them without water. I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for some candies today! Uh, if you give me a treat, make sure that it's sweet and I'll eat it! Open the freaking door! Where in the world is my candy? Oh, a fun size candy bar. Tell me this, what's fun about eating less candy? Maybe if you gave me an entire bag of them it would be fun. The only fun I'm gonna have with this thing is smearing it all over your door when I leave. Trick or treat, I guess. Oh, baking chocolate. I used to eat this stuff when there was no chocolate in the house. And now, it's my only friend. Please, baby, please, baby, 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 please! Give me some candy! I got a shallow gup and a crallow nup. Somebody give me that mallow cup. Believe it or not, I'm walking around. I never thought I could trick or treat. Hey, Strong Man, I really like your costume. The Spanish Inquisition. That's great. Look for the last time. 
I'm not the Spanish Inquisition, I'm not Camp Calloway, and I'm not strong but wearing a yellow turtleneck! I'm Carmen freaking San Diego! I like Camp Calloway. Okay, Poopsman. That's the worst costume I ever saw. I mean, your laser tag? What, are you supposed to be dressed up as the product? Or is it more abstract than that? Like, you're supposed to be the concept of laser tag. Come on, man. You know you just found that old crap in a trunk in your basement. He's off, strong man. He's not the one that dressed up as a girl two years in a row. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you asked for it, King. <laughs> What's wrong with girls? Did any of you guys go to that house that was giving out change? I changed my costume and went back ten times. I made thirty-five dollars. Did you guys go to that house where they let you into this big room and there's all these people wearing black hoods and they ask you these questions about life and existence and if you answer them wrong you get eternal damnation but if you answer them right you get a Twizzler? Um, no. 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 Oh, never mind. I like your costume, Strong Sad, but you weren't invited this year. Say pom pom, check out this funky bass groove. A do rear do re, a do rear do re. I really have to be. Yeah, and the poopsmith's not smelling any rosier either. Oh, oh, I've got an idea. Let's totally freak him out. Let's repeat the stuff we just said. Hey, strong man, I really like your costume. The Spanish Inquisition. I am going to check my email. Dear Strong Bad, I want to have the bestest Halloween costume ever this year. How can I make a Strong Bad costume? With crap, Ben from Ohio University. Well, Ben, I couldn't agree with you more. You dress up like me this year, and the ladies will flock to you like the poopsmith to an overflowing toilet. But I digress. On to the costume. We'll demonstrate on stupid over here. Hey, yo. First, paint your head red. Then, take your shirt off to expose your manly chest. Ah. Next, get some boxing gloves. Or if you don't have boxing gloves, oven mitts will do. Next. Duct tape some aluminum foil to some twine. And finally, get your mom to make you a strong bad costume. You'll be the bell of the ball. I'm a bell. Okay, so until next time, who put the ween in Halloween? I don't know. Probably you, you freaking weirdo. After the second one, they really fell off. I mean, a pajama jammy jam. I rarely know what you're talking about. No, I'm a video game. I don't play video games, so I wouldn't know. What? What are you laughing at? Uh, nothing. You look great. Of course I look great. I'm Debbie. In actuality, I don't think he looks that great. Okay, everyone. Thanks for coming to my party, you all look great, blah, blah, blah. It's time for the judging of the pumpkin. That was the lightning. The cheat? Would you mind assisting me? Okay, contestant number one. Your name is... Strong? Sad? Uh, anyways, please explain your pumpkin. I call it self-portrait in late October. I call it last place. Ding! Next contestant. I'm doomed. All right, Mr. Of Town. Just what is going on over here? Well, I was at home uh -huh. with the pumpkin. Okay. It was looking right. particularly luscious. Yeah, that's gross. And then uh -huh. the next thing I know is was a, go on. a pie. And then I see, go the on. The next thing I know is okay. oh, the pie was gone. And right, right. Doo -hoo. What do you think, the Jeet? 
I can go. What place? Ding. Sorry, King, but our princess is in another castle. Boo! All right, this guy's tall. Hey, DJ, ask your friend here why come he didn't carve his pumpkin. <laughs> now that's talent. Good prize. Yeah. All right, coach. What do you got for me? Check it out, yo. Cool. A W. What's that supposed to stand for? Which is blue? No, no, no. It stands for the Wu Tang. Coach Z, are you a posel? Nah, man. I'm down. Down with second to last place. Ding. Just keep walking, the cheat. Oh, brother. What do you make of this guy, the cheat? I know. Me too. What do you have to say for yourself, little man? I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Wow. You've set a new standard for last place. You don't get a ding. And also with you. Pom Pom. What's up, my main man? My dog. My ace in the hole. Second place. What you got here, old Barney Pan? I didn't want to kill mine, so I just left it on the vine. What for? So you could, like, use it in a witch's brew or something? Um, I don't know what that means. Anyway, I wrote a song about it. I left it on the vine. I left it on the line. I mean, I left Not it Not necessarily. Last place. Ding! Homestar, I'm breaking up with you. Hey, dog bad. So, um, are you supposed to be the Green Hornet? What? No! Oh, right, right. You're supposed to be the, um, the Witch's Brew. No, I'm the bee. Like, from nature. Oh, great. So, what's up with your pumpkin? Well, I stabbed it a bunch and then wrapped it in barbed wire. Then I felt sorry for it, so, um, I gave it some googly eyes. That sure was nice of you. You get most improved. Ding! Hey, Bubs. Hey, Homestar. What's up? Not a whole lot. What's that? That's just my pumpkin. Cool. Does it do anything? Oh, yeah. Check this out. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like you scaled the cheat. Yeah, I guess I did. Not last place. I feel so fine. I feel so elated. I feel so fine. I feel well, so elated. Well, I guess that's everybody. Thanks for your help, the cheat. You all did great. Hope to see you again next year. Well, who won? I think that your rating system is questionable. Oh, right, right. A winner and such. Well... I won! Ding! What the... What's going on here? Yeah, what's going on? Huh? Oh man, you guys are so stupid. You thought I dressed up as the bee? This is the best costume ever. Now wait a minute. Then who's that strong bad over there? <gasps> it's that goblin! Oh, that explains everything. Ding! Um, hey, the cheat. Mm -hmm. I had a really important question I wanted to ask you about your costume. Are you supposed to be dressed up as some kind of a witch's brew? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. I had another question I wanted to ask you. It's not about witch's brew. Okay, it's about witch's brew, but just seal me out. Boy, is it ever Monday. Yo, yo, Strong Bad. Are there any ghosts in Strong Bad here? Your favorite cowboys, Josh, John, and Doug, Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, took all three of you to come up with that one, huh? You're some bright young men. You know, boys, cowboys, I've never really given the old kingdom a thorough ghost check.
The cheat! Hmm. Meet me in the strong bad cave! Hmm? Uh, well, meet me in the closet and uh, we'll put on some costumes. Okay, the cheat, let's just turn on my ghost detecting equipment here. See if we can't get any readings. Hey, sign! You haunted? What about you, Tyre? Any ghosts? Chinese food. You a ghost? <coughs> it's the ghost of General Tao! Oh, wait. It's just grody and rotten. The cheat! Would you please freaking clean up after yourself? Oh well. Looks like Strong Badia is ghost free. Proud to be. Oh, uh, my old computer. Um, what's up, man? Sure is one spooky sound you're making there. Look at that. Little bad graphics ghost. Hey, little guy. Look, old computer. Sorry I threw you out and everything, but uh, the cheat, um, the cheat's got uh, soccer practice, so, uh, did you remember your cleats, the cheat? Throw that Chinese food at him! <laughs> again. You better believe it's new Fluffy Puff Malloween orange and black flavored marshmallows. They taste the same, but look... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, must have got a toenail caught in my throat. They taste the same, but look different. Boogity boogity, I'll scare your dad. Those little punks next door won't know what hit them when you serve up a satchel full of Malloween Fluffy Puffs. Why? Weird. That's right, you two. Kids, demand Fluffy Puffs for tricks and treats. Oh, hello, little boy or little girl. Would you care for a fun time treat? No way! A tidal wave of marshmallows. I'm so goosed up, I'm swimming in them. Tell Montenegro. Boy, yes. They fit on top of each other. Stack them to the heavens, stack them to the heavens. I, I can, can write, write a song called Stack Them to the Heavens. What more do they want? Come on, guys. Isn't that enough to get you to try Fluffy Puff Malloweens? They're orange. Doot doot. They're black. Doot doot. Look for the one with me on the bag, dressed as a vampire. I thought you said you were the star of this one. Oh, right. I made that up. But I did get to keep this cool eyeball. See? See? What are you doing? Isn't that the sound that, um, eyeballs make? See? See? And 16 cents is your change. Whoa, free money. So, what are you getting into tonight, Homestar? I don't know. Marzipan and those are gonna try to summon the spirit of a dead ficus plant. But that sounds dumb and boring, so I'll probably just end up trick-or-treating. What about Strong Bad? What's he doing? I don't know. You can never tell with that guy. Okay, Bobs. I'll have 90 rolls of toilet paper and 60 dozen eggs. And a corn dog. I got it all packed up for you in the wagon round back. Thanks, Pally. What is he up to? Now Strong said I need to make contact with Credenza. Homestar watered him with Yuhu while I was in Miami, and he died, and now I really miss him. Okay, I'll need a photograph of the deceased and two box Oreos. Oh, this is gonna be so great, you guys. Everybody's houses and pumpkins and trees won't know what hit them. But you gotta be great. Hey guys, what's up? What are we doing here? Making omelets? Going to the bathroom? I'm cool with that. Get out of here, old man. We're gonna be pelting people like you and houses like your castle with these eggs. Come on, let me hang out. No way. Forget it. Come on, those dudes. Let's go hit Marzipan's gaze bowl. I'm dressed to hamburger. Rubble, rubble. I bet I get a million pounds of candy this year. A million pounds. Whatever. I'm going for quality over quantity. Same here, Bubsy. 
I'm holding out for cookies with gold-plated chocolate chorps. <sighs> we'll see about that. Come on, Bob Bob. Let's go find some houses giving away lead candies. Let her rip. <laughs> Yes, all will tremble at the crack of our eggs and the hush of our two-ply toilet papers. I know how to use toilet paper. Let me try. Listen, <clears throat> your highness, we're about to egg the ever-loving crap out of your castle. It just won't be any fun if you're standing there. Yeah, it will. On account of I'm totally cool. No, you're not. But we're prepared to give you a dozen of these oh. eggs and let you wash it down with a roll of toilet paper in exchange for you leaving us alone for the rest of eternity. It's a deal! That's what I thought. What the? Oh, I remember this house from a couple of years ago. Trick or treat. Come on, man. Okay, trick or treat. Ah, oh, Zagnut! Yeah, ah, oh, Zagnut! No, no, ah, oh, Zagnut! Right, right, ah, oh, Zagnut! Oh. Check out my new cosplay! I'm a demon on wheels! Tickles. Wow, Bob Bob, did you know that lady? Why'd she give you a hundred bucks? All I got was a dang old bit of honey. Okay, Bob Bob, you knock this time. Fine, I'll ring the doorbell. Ding 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 ding. The poop smith, trick or treat. Suit yourself. More for me. Lay it on me, poop stick. Credenza. 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 It's been two hours and we haven't heard anything. Credenza must hate me. No, no. Maybe I just need to do this some more. Credenza. What's that? That must be him. Yep. That sounds like a ficus. Let me in. Da, da, da. Let me in. Hey, you're not a dead ficus plant. You're so smart. I'm home so much. Get in here, you guys. You're going to scare away Credenza. <laughs> Oof. Not bad for a first course. I'm still hungry. I told you I'd get a million limbs of candy. That sure doesn't smell like candy. Hey, you're white. Poop Smith, did you give me some bum candy? <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> I'm open for interpretation. Any minute now. Ooh. Whoa, electrical disturbances. There's definitely a powerful spirit present. You mean like the spirit of giving? You've got to be kidding me. Stop doing that right now. Stop what? I don't do nothing! Stupid, stupid king of town, he gets on my nerves. What the crap? I think this is it! Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's not really the yeah. conventional way to roll a house, but, uh, whatever yeah. works. Yeah, yeah. Huggins! Oh, hi, Strong Mad. Stupid, this is stupid. He ate the candy corn. Oh, rice. what's going on in here? You guys having one of those stupid moron parties or something? Okay, everybody say it with me this time. Whoa, the lights went out. Whoa, magic. Yep, I've dealt with this before. Lights, definitely out. And somebody's a grabbing uh, my butt. Credenza, you're alive! Saints be praised! Credenza's alive! Yay! Yay! And Strong Man got you through toilet paper and stuff! Yay! And I got a million pounds of candy! Yay! And the goblin showed up dressed up like a Santaman! Yay! Yay!
Hey, Strong Bad, I really like your El DeBarge costume. I'm not El DeBarge. No, no, he's Miami Sound Machine. No, I'm not. He's Darren Strick Darby. No, I'm Garmin Freakin' Mer- No, wait. I'm Ozone from Bregan. Hey, Code Z, I really like your Wesley Snape's outfit. I'm Cool Modi. You know, from the Treacherous 3. Oh, see, I only saw Treacherous 1 and 2, so, um, I wouldn't know. Well, Strong said this is a beautiful house you got there. This is not my beautiful house. Oh, and I haven't been introduced to your beautiful wife yet, neither. This is not my beautiful wife. Hey, Marzipan, what's with your sweater costume? The log lady, huh? Maybe you should get together with the poopsmith. Say, Bubs. I really like your Dory Man outfit. Whatever you say, Homestar. Hey, the cheat. Um, dress up as something different next to you. Things creeping me out. Cool. Flaming Poops with. <laughs> Guess what I read in the newspaper today? I can't guess. I read that a ghost. You read that a ghost what? I read that a ghost is. You read that a ghost is what? I read that a ghost is here in town and there's a 27 cent reward for its capture. <laughs> you said it, fat duds. We sure could buy a lot of corn pone with 27 big ones. Says here in the newspaper that the encapturement of the new apparition garners top reward of 26 and 1 pennies. We could buy the monocle off Rockefeller's very eyeball with that kind of cash. Ah. Let's check out the old pie timer place. We should split up. We can do more damage that way. Under here? Let's see. Maybe it's in here. <coughs> Just a mauve. Ow. Darn it. Under here? That picture my drawing looks sir suspicious. It's just two weird one-eyed crows. Ha ah, fooey. Fat Dudley, were you gonna sneak a nip a hooch? Oh, there's no ghosts here. Just a bunch of gross animals. Let's go look somewhere else. Listen smoothly, the sneak. We're certain to catch a ghost once we exhume this grave using my new grave exhuming invention. Ah. What, what? Why, no. Of course that's not just the strong man holding a shovel. It's my newest invention. Besides, the strong man's over there doing some manner of stylish jig. Would you please keep it down? The Homestar Runner, I'm so, 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 so scared. Scared of what? Pumpkins? They're just pumpkins. But I'm so, 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 so scared. Oh, fine. We'll go look in the graveyard. Hooray! You're too late. The reward will be ours. I'll be marching around in gold pants in no time. Where is the ghost? Behold, the fantastic phantasm. That's no ghost. That's just our worst friend, Sickly Sam. I bury myself alive on Tuesdays. Criminy crickets foiled again. Then where's the real ghost? <laughs> At least we'll never go hungry again. Except for Fat Dudley. He's living the high life.
All right, boys. It's Halloween night. What are we going to do? <laughs> Come again? <laughs> What's wrong there, Philly cheatsteak? You got us some hiccups? <laughs> well, you picked the perfect night to have them. We shouldn't have a problem scaring those hiccups out of you on Halloween. Let's see what's going on tonight. There's got to be something scary. Ooh, that's perfect. I seen some stuff in that locker room that would scare more than just the hiccups out of you, let me tell you. Let's check it on out. <laughs> you scared yet to cheat? What about that drippy towel over there? That's pretty scary, huh? <laughs> oh, no, please don't drip on me. <laughs> You smell like shin guards. <laughs> Crickety toe! Tommy John surgery! <clears throat> Coach, we're trying to scare the hiccups out of the cheat. <laughs> you got anything that's not just gross and moist? What could be scarier than blue star ointment? Or warrior? All right, this has gone from weird and kind of gross to a serious health risk. <laughs> Let's bolt. Hey, you guys didn't even get your candy out of the toilet there. This night, black as pitch, doom from inside me wells up. Pray I don't get egg. I don't know or care what a haiku is, <laughs> but we need to scare the cheat. Oh, I've got just a thing. Rapping at the door, fills up aged pillowcase. So sick of smarties. Oh, I get it. Let me try one. A butt for a face. Little brother, dork, 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 stay out of my room. <laughs> oh, sorry to cheat. Looks like we gotta find some other way to scare the ever-loving hiccups out of you. You don't scare the hiccups out of somebody. You gotta laugh them out. Whoa, that sounds like a segue. I mean, seriously, people, it's the 90s. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Am I left? <laughs> Say, Bubs, your comedy club here bears a striking resemblance to the side of your concession stand. Oh, that's rich. You know something else that bears a striking resemblance to something else? I don't know. Women can't drive! <laughs> oh, let's get out of here, my bad pennies. This guy cracks me up! And airline food? I mean, having a what? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, hurry, hurry! Before I eat it all, step right up and get your Halloween on! Bobbin Fur Turduckins! Dear Oldie, shut up! Your pal, Strong Bad. Oh, Mashed Potato Jones. Now there's a fella I'd like to meet. <coughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we need to get rid of the cheat's hiccups. You got any grody old man remedies? Sure! You gotta feed and feed the hiccups until they mature into liver failure, and then- We're not trying to kill the cheat. Don't you have anything that could just scare him? I have this x-ray of my heart. <laughs> That's not scary. That's promising. Come on, the cheat. Let's let the king die in peace. Yes, let's. What's up, no talkers? Keep on no talking. <laughs> Blew it, man! I lose my touch! What's this mess? Ready, everybody? A one and a two, and a here we go. La 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 la. la the cheat, this is it! This is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen! <laughs> oh, man! Good job, the cheat. Now try harmonizing with the butternut squashes. La, 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 this la, might not get rid of the hiccups, la, la, it's about to give me the throw-ups. Oh yeah, lay it on me, Mr. Corn. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, guys, guys. You guys, uh, need some witch's brew? I got some right here. Two jars. Cold, hot, fresh witch's brew. Only ten bucks a pop. Side effects include wine, women, and song. Witch's brew, eh? Alright, we'll take one jar. Here you go. <laughs> oh, crap. You still got them. That'll be ten bucks. Please drive around to the second window. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. But, uh, can you pay us the ten bucks tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I'm good for it. I'll pay you the ten bucks right now. Hey, the cheat. <laughs> I'll give you ten bucks if you stop hiccuping. Hang on. Hang on. 
Ooh. Hey, Homestar, I'll give you 10 bucks if you stop breathing. Okay, you got a deal. Uh, <sighs> uh, strong man. I couldn't do it for very long. Mm, I'd try again. 10 is a lot of bucks. Why, why? A lot of ducks. Uh, <sighs> uh, 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 I think I'm dressed up as some kind of a golf cart. So I got that going for me. Which is nice. Oh man, the cheat. Your pile of leaves costume is so adorable. It's adorable. Hello, kitties. I meet the Joker. Hey, Marzi. I just can't wait for you to get on the road again and get hit by a school bus. So, Bubs, your approach this year was to ensure that absolutely no one recognized your costume. You got it! So, big boy, eh, Pam Pam? I was gonna go with Andre 3000 myself. <laughs> ah, you scared me! So, here's the deal. I'm lost inside this haunted mansion, and I need your help to find my costume and get out of here. So, what should we do first? What up, Homestar? Here's your costume. Oh, thanks. You win! Homestar Michael Runner, what did you do to my Halloween potion recipe? Oh, yeah. Uh, Marzipan, can I draw ducks and bugs all over the recipe for your Halloween potion? No way, Jorge. You're going to figure out what those ingredients were and bring them back here before midnight. Now march your skinny white butt into those spooky woods, mister. Yes, Mom's a pen. Oh, why? These spooky woods got to be chock full of spooky ingredients. Let's see. The first one is something waddle. Hmm. Really? Then how come they'll be all nice to you and act like they like you to your face? Guess I have a lot to learn about mailmen. Hey, what are you guys doing out here? Did you ruin somebody's magic potion too? Ah, uh, nope. Unless Coach Z's life is a magic potion. Cool, cool, depressing, cool. So, um... Do either of you have any cash on you? I'm trying to get me a sandwich or something. Uh, my car broke down and I'm out of gas. Uh, sorry, man. All I got is this bottle of, uh, ghost water? That's perfect. I was planning on blowing that money on ghost water anyways. Well, I gotta keep searching. Too bad I probably won't run into anybody else mysteriously hanging out in the woods. Oh, what do you know? How you digging? Oh, we're certainly not trying to unearth a ham sandwich that I buried here when I was nine. Good, because I found that thing like two months ago. It wasn't that good. Too much mayo. Too much mayo? I love too much mayo! <laughs> Hey, I've got it. I'll give you a detailed account of the consumption of your ham, Sammy, if you give me a powdered item for this potion majig. Sweet deal! Take some of this powdered Thanksgiving! Now let's hear it! Okay, so first, I washed all the dirt off with some Windex. Mm. That made it blue and soggy. And that last bite nearly made me puke it right back on my plate. Oh, I wish you had. I surely wish you had. Oh, great. The secret guy. <coughs> Just give me my choices. What am I supposed to do with that mess? I'm out of here. Location, location, location. Whoa, this is a cool new background. Yeah, we were just burying our problems here in the spooky woods when we found this creepy cliff. 
It's perfect for the chucking off of busted old TVs. Essence of busted old TVs? Because I got a serious Jones. Uh, I think these TVs lost their essence in the 70s. What are you doing here anyways? I'm trying to ruin Marzipan's Halloween potion. Got any leads? That's a worthy cause if ever there was one. How about this essence of putting Strongman's hand in warm water while he's asleep? My secret shame! Thanks a lot, you guys! Mecca like a high mecca the cheat, throw a TV on him. Ho. Oh, Bubs! Fancy running into you in the middle of the spooky woods selling storing utensils. It's a niche market! So, what kind of concoctions might one store with your whales? Well, a little eye of newt, some toe of frog, maybe you got a witch's brew going. Hey, that's my line. So, how do I score one of those jobbies? Oh, they're free, but you gotta earn them. Uh, that doesn't sound free at all. Well, then you just gotta earn them. How should I do that? Well, well, Nancy and I, economics, well, rap music, jelly beans, well, we probably had a pet. That's the worst Ronald Reagan impression I've ever heard! Ronald Reagan? I was doing my Keanu Reagan. Just take this turlet brush and get out of here! Thanks, Great American Bubs. Now to find Strong Sad. Anything that guy says will make great magic wards. Hey, Strong Sad. Nice fire hydrant costume. Oh, mineral water, huh? If you were at a party, what would you rap? Each day we die a little more, yo. Better act somebody. Ooh, fresh beats. My favorite. Thanks for the words, half man. Go forward. Move ahead. Try to detect it. It's not too late. All right, so here's what I came up with. A bottle of ghost waddle, some powdered Thanksgiving, and essence of putting strong man's hand in warm water while he's asleep. And give a little store with this toilet brush, and say these magic words. Better ask somebody. Here, Homestar, have some melonade. Don't mind if I do. Ah! Marzipan! There's only one of you! Don't tell me you forgot how to use your eyes again. Are you trying to tell me I haven't been dating twins this whole time? Um, I don't think you're gonna have to worry about dating anyone from now on. Hooray! Hey, Bubs, I like your Lando Calrissian outfit. What are you talking about? I'm the master of disaster! Uh-oh. Boopsmith, get ready. So, Coach, how come you weren't a rapper this year? But I am! Theo Huxtable is one of the greatest rappers of our time! Jamin on the one! Jamin on the one! j j Jamin on the one! Jamin on the one! Me, 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 me! The cheat! Can you understand her? Hey, I so. Me, 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 me. Hey, I so, so, so. Me, 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 me. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that meant something else. So what, Pom Pom? You're every guy at a truck stop? Uh oh, Strong Bad. You're entering a world of pain. Lolly! You're out of your element! Hey, Strong Bad. Let me get a few dollars. I'm trying to catch a train. My wife, she's pregnant. I got 13 kids. I'm on hard time. Well, at least your Shady Drifter impression is better than your Ronald Reagan. Ooh, I can hit you with some more of that, too. Well, well, Oliver Cromwell. Strong bad, 
Blanche from the Golden Girls? Genius. I'm not Blanche from the Golden Girls. No, no, he's Phyllis Diller. I thought you were supposed to be my hot mom. No, I'm Jobby the Genie. You know, wish. Did somebody say wish? I wish you'd dress up as something I could recognize. Pop culture, rumble grumble. Lots of leaves. Grody bloody grows in blood. Oh, nice try, Strombat. I'm just not feeling it in broad daylight. And you were hiding behind a twig. Yeah, I know. Why isn't it dark yet? x tree, x tree, read all about it. Halloween night missing. Citizens mobilized to save holiday. In unrelated news, this newsboy getup is not my Halloween costume. This is Bulldog. How are we supposed to scandalize and vandalize without the protective cover of ha 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 Halloween night? Everyone's just blah, blah. I'm gonna go interrogate the toilet for about eight minutes. See if he knows anything. After that, we'll form into a giant robotic Halloween night finding space panther. Or not. Halloween night! Come here, boy! <laughs> I got this spooky yucky chew toy for ya! Homestar, you are aware that Halloween night is not a puppy, aren't you? Yes. Obviously, I am aware that it is not. What was that last part? A puppy. A puppy. Okay, good. But seriously, we have to find Halloween night. I don't do so well with all this sunlight. Sit, Halloween night. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. You sit, 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 sit. Hey, what you doing there, sister? I'm trying to attract Halloween night with music. It loves reggae, you know. Good idea. And I can do some of my famous Halloween sound effects that everybody knows me for. Coop, see, I don't think that's what everybody knows you for. What are you talking about? Listen to this spooky owl. Hort, 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 hort. Or get a load of these creepy crickets. Cricket, cricket, ta 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 ta. Cricket, ta 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 ta. We be jamming. What is wrong with you people? I got instant spray on Halloween night. I got Halloween night vision goggles. I even got this do it yourself Halloween night hovercraft kit. Oh man, I thought sure we'd find Halloween night in the spooky woods. This place has really gone uphill since it disappeared. Even that rotten old skull doesn't seem so creepy. A jam moment! Good thinking, Monchi Cheat. That guy's always hanging out with Halloween night. But how do we find him? What's this crap take? Where's Halloween night? Strongman, pat him down. Oh, he's clean. I'm taking that hamster ball, though. Cough it up, King of Town. We know you ate Halloween night. You amateurs. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm on a diet. It's strictly Arbor Day and Earth Day for me this year. Well, now where do we look? I need some doom and gloom soon. Something funny's happening to the sides of my mouth. Eggs tree, eggs tree. This get up is my get down. Homestar Waddle, you are a genius. Thank you, Doug. So tell us what you're doing here. Well, it occurred to me that no Halloween night could resist these orange and black flavored loose tooth removal candies. How are they biting today, Olmstar? Sound effects, man! Ooh, ooh! Do broken wheelchair on cobblestone. It's like I'm right there, wheeling Grandma through the old town. You wanna stop in here and get a kielbasa, Grandma? <laughs> Somebody shoot me! <laughs> Man, this sucks! Halloween night's almost over and still no sign of Halloween night! 
We should be out there turning treats right now. Oh, you guys didn't have any luck either. Oh, well. Happy Halloween anyways, everybody. Whoa, say that again. Say what? Happy Halloween? Now somebody else say it. Harpy Halloween. Not you, Coach Z. Now everybody, all at the same time. Happy Halloween! Oh, yes, it worked. I'm going to egg so many candies and eat so much houses, I'm going to... So, uh, what do we do now? Um... Happy Day of the Dead! Still wrong, bad. That's the best evil common San Diego costume I've ever seen. If I wasn't dressed up as a pretend priest comedian, I'd beat the crap out of you right now. Marzipan, I just love your I have a caterpillar crawling across my forehead costume. And kind of a mustache have costume. That's a good costume, Strong said. What is that, you at your 20-year high school reunion? Uh, the cheat? Technically, shouldn't all this sunlight be turning you into some sort of horrible beastie? Run, 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 run. Uh, <coughs> I forgot my rusty flag! He looks adorable. Get a picture, get a picture. Huh? That's a keeper. Yeah, I don't know where Strong Matt is. You better go check on him. Make sure he didn't get into our stash of razor blade candy apples again. I hate you. Could you get that? No way! Homestar, I'm busy tuning my costume. And I'm busy not answering the phone. Huff. Oh, great. You made me miss it. Ooh, this is Marzipan. Leave me a spooky message. Come on in here. Jibbly, 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 Marzipan, jibbly, jibbly, I'm done not answering the phone. Did you still need me to answer the phone? Marzipan? What are you doing? Are you playing a song? What is that? Raspberry Boy? Wait, what's that? You say you want me to go out by myself and leave you here? Okay, if you say so. And your stupid face. And your stupid face. Hey, Strong Man. Hey, the cheat. Well, if it isn't the human great on my nerves. Aren't you having a strange girlfriend to be annoying somewhere? Nah, yeah, she's busy shimmying and shaking and talking about giblets or something. Giblets? Wait, Homestar, are you telling me that Marzipan has the giblets? Strongbad, I think that's a bit of a personal question. We gotta hurry! Strongbad and the cheat are in great danger! I hate you, the stick! <gasps> oh no! We're snowed in! I mean, we're too late! I know who's behind all this! Who Jonkis is behind all this? No, oh, no, no, not strong mad stuff, Dramisio Mimis. There's usually this really horrible painting in there of some kind of demon holding a torch. Why is he holding that torch? Oh, you mean the Ghibli's painting. Wait, you know about it? Yeah. Brother called up Marzipan right before I ran into you. Ghibli's via phone line? It's worse than I thought. Pudonkis must be stopped. Oh, the clutch of glaze. That means you should start sending some hot chicks over to your dumpier friends. Ooh, and the cult of Ray. That means you should seriously stop hogging all the hot chicks. Don't look at me. The cards do not lie. Weird. I've never seen this one before. Come on in here. Bubs! Bubs! We're 
we're gonna need garlic, crosses, silver bullets, holy water, and VHS copies of Pumpkin's Head 2 through 4. Bubs? Dibbly. Bubs? Dibbly. We're snowed in again. Dibbly? All right, Homestar, we're on our own. Dibbly. All the good characters have already been dibbly. Ah, dibbly. But what about Coach? All the good characters. What are we going to do? We gotta hide, man. Dibbly. That thing's unstoppable. We'll live underground and slowly evolve into mole people with gross eyes and claws. Sounds like a plan. Yes, when it's Halloween night and there's an insane painting running around, there's no safer place for a pretty young thing like me than in the shower. My good man, could you please pass the port plus? Come on. Hey, Jorbly, 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 Jorbly! Ding, dang it, Poop Smith! I want me some of that giblet flu that's been going around. That mess sounds delicious. Guess what? Come on in here. Giblet, 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 giblet. Come on in here. I'm a touchy feely holic. Giblet, giblet, giblet. Now all the lame characters have been giblet too. Ahem. Sorry, man. All but one. Thank you very much. Well, time to start evolving into mole people. Now shut your eyes really tight and try and heighten your other senses. Homestar? Come on in here. Not again. Joey, make a sandwich. What did you just say? Come on in here. Come on in now. Okay. Whoa, nice style. Hello. I came on in here. How's it going, man? Pretty good, creep take. Is this your house? It's not much, but it's home. I plan to redo the kitchen. That is literally so great. Listen, uh, how come you jibbalized all my friends? I just wanted someone to come on in here. I love to entertain. What about that guy? That guy has serious problems. Oh, well, if I let you entertain me, will you unjimplify my pals? Yes, but you have to stay here with me for all eternity. Hey, no sweat. I love eternity. Then it is done. Jibbly, 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 super scum six more. The jibblies are gone. I'm saved. No, no. Strongman, the cheat! You're all right! Everything's back to normal! You guys, have you seen Homestar? What are you doing in my house? So, is it eternity yet? I think it's eternity already. Oops, it's five past eternity. You better let me go. Beep, beep, beep. Your eternity alarm's going off. It's probably time to send me home. Mozpin's supposed to be making me some giblets or something. Hey, the gold friend formerly known as Marzipan. I think you missed a little bit when you were shaving. Right now, around the sideboards area. More like the former girlfriend known as Marzipan. Sounds like a plan. Hey, Strongbad, I thought you was gonna dress up as the alien Xenomorph. this year. Xenomorph. Yeah, I was gonna. But when I got the hammockers, slammockers, they were all sold out. I did get an awesome shiatsu massage wine opener, though. So, wait. Was there ever a Ghibli's one? No, horror movies don't even need first movies anymore. This is the reboot of the reimagining of the reinvention of the original. Original and horror movie? Not these days. Hey, Bubs. Nice Schneider from One Day at a Time costume. No way. He's Monroe from Too Close for Comfort. You're both way off. Mazapan, do you know who I am? I don't know. I heard that. Hey, Bob Bob, now that I'm the strongest man in the world, let me get that gold bowl. Ow! Good smells? Where the poop smith's going, he doesn't need good smells. King of town, I gotta hand it to you. That is one great melted Don King outfit. Ooh, I could go for a box of melted King Dons myself. 
Introducing all new Homestar Runner Halloween costumes and products. Do not ask me to speak up again because this is as loud as I'm going to get. If you don't like it, you can find someone. Introducing all new Home Run Hitter Halloween costumes and products. Choose from all your favorites. Strong Bad, Homestar Runner, The Cheat. Each comes with its own authentic, cheap, costumish pullover. Candy. Oh, hello, neighborhood kid. Let's see who you're dressed as this year. Hmm. Crappy plastic Bubs mask. Yeah. And a crappier plastic apron with a picture of Bubs on it that says Bubs on it. Mm hmm. Just like Bubs all the time wears. Picture of himself on himself. Yeah, you're not getting any candy from me. Thanks, Mrs. Janquo. And for the ladies, don't forget the new authentic Marzipan costume. Oh, wait. Almost. There we go. That is so offensive, but it's not really offensive anymore. I'll take 12. Whew, you dang right. And for the trick-or-treating impaired, check out StrongSad's line of safety loser accessories. Hey, that's not what I named. Mom, not overprotective enough? Just add this discreet reflector to any costume and never worry about getting accidentally run down by Mancuso's older brother ever again. Side effects may include getting intentionally run down by Mancuso's older brother. Plagued by Halloween eggings? Fool them every time with this deluxe decoy poncho. Light him up, the cheat! Aw, oh, never mind. Looks like somebody already got him. With a bunch of fried eggs. And last, for the kid with no friends who's staying at home to help... <coughs> <clears throat> Mom and Dad give out treats. Here's a pair of sweatpants. It's really all we can do. Sorry. All new Homestars running Halloween customs and products. Only from... <coughs> all new Homestar runner Halloween costumes and products. Only from Cheap Ass Free. I told him not to mess with me. Man, you guys, can't believe we actually came to the King of Town's crappy Halloween party. You boys having a good time? Try the ketchup fountain yet? This party sucks, old man. This is Halloween. Where's the decaying flesh? The rotting corpses? The stink of death? Uh, not exactly what I was talking about. Well, fine. If stinky dead people is all you want, why don't you go hang out in that 200-acre cemetery that's been behind my castle all this time? Jigga a what? We have a cemetery? This is awesome! How come nobody ever told me about this place? You didn't know about this place? Man, if it weren't for the library, I'd spend- We have a who cares? Yeah, it still uses Dewey Decimal and everything. Uh, aww, I hate it when you do <laughs> that. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go find a suitable stiff to exhume and reanimate. Oh, man, Bob Bob. This is gonna be so great. First we'll hit Space Mountain, then over to Mr. Toad's, then Tom Sawyer's Island, and don't forget, we parked in the Goofy lot. You think I should have told him about that carnivorous undead sheep that prowls the graveyard? I'm the Captain Caveman of the Graveyard Train! Alright now, Marzipan, remember, we have to hold our breath in front of the dead. Ready? Go! <gasps> <gasps> okay, never mind. Sorry, the dead. This place is perfect for my intro to photography class. I've already hit the railroad tracks and an abandoned factory. This will complete the amateur trifecta. Hang on, I think I got it. <gasps> hey, look, here's my great great grandpappy's cousin Harold. He discovered the bait and switch. Ooh, and this is his brother Mort. He invented no money down. All your dead relatives are making me want to start one of them horrorcore rap groups. I could put on a hockey mask and call myself Coach Zieger Mortis. Hey, man, show some respect. Okay, Bob Bob, now that I know we're not in a theme park, I say we try to find that Queen Goblin. I heard that if you find him right at midnight, he'll spin all your Halloween candies into gold. Instead of just doing that regular old two-bit dance. 
Hey, that's a great place to start looking. I wonder why they call it Snarling Hungry Sheep Hill. I mean, look at some of these names. Jim Nelius Hog Chigger? Hebby Scrabby? Is there some secret period in history when hobos ruled the earth that I'm unaware of? You stand with jealous zombies, life! Don't worry, Twomp Mad. We will. We just gotta find somebody with a cool name. Let's keep looking. Almost. A little less lark and a little more skulk. Like this? There we go. You're not showing up in these pictures. Strong Sad, is there something you need to tell me? Are you dead? Whoa, maybe I am. I finally willed myself to death. This is great. Hey, Bobs, check it out. You're not the only one with relatives here. My great good aunt is buried right under our feet. Oh, you come over here and look at this. I want you to see my great great grand uncle. He invented no payments till 2010. Hi there. Wait, hold on a sec. Are you telling me my uncle is your aunt? Seems that way. Bubs, this is great news. This means we're brothers. I always knew it. Or it means you're a liar. Besides, even if it were true, we'd only be sixth, fourth, second, fifth cousins thrice removed. Oh, phew. So your sister and I can... Ah! No! Plutus? What is wrong with you dead people? I don't want a reanimated corpse named Plutus doing my bidding. Doesn't any dead body with a good name around here want to be reanimated with these jumper cables and pickled monkey fingers? Zigor! I want Zigor! All right, Pom Pom. It's almost midnight. Ready with the Halloween candy? Man, I can't wait to try a gold what you call it. Uh, a gold. Oh yeah, Snickles. <laughs> Cheats got wavies again. What was that? Oh my goodness. Cheat, you got rabies again? Uh oh, let's beat it, Poop Smith. Yahoo, seriously, Bob Bob. I'm about to beat my pants. The goblin, you saved us. Now, are you gonna turn all a hundred grand into a hundred grand? But I thought at midnight you. Oh, man! Hooray! Extended dance remix of the Goblin Song! Whoa, check out that awesome dead undead sheep! Some say it's an escaped laboratory test animal. They call it Subject X. That's the coolest name I ever heard of. The cheat, grab the jumper cables and, hey, where'd the pickled monkey fingers go? I don't know. You said it, old buddy. Happy carousel of progress, Bob Bob. I mean, Halloween, Bob Bob. Hey, Homestar, I really like your Carrot Top costume. I'm not Carrot Top, I'm Crocodile Dundee. Hey, Strong Bad, what's the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything? Uh, I don't know. I just saw this sassy planet on the cover of one of your stupid books and thought it looked cool. Say it! Say it! Oh! Oh! Hey, Strong Dad. Nice moth with telly costume. Good news, everyone. Turns out that wasn't ketchup in the ketchup fountain. You're Gorble Gorble! Grab them cakes! Ah, is that all you do? Ah, my little pride and joy. It's really starting to console me that you keep dressing up as dudes. King of Town, would you like to justify your dressing up as Hello Kitty this year? Sure. I dressed up as my favorite candy. Um, I'm pretty sure those were erasers.
Weeks after Halloween, days after Thanksgiving, just before the Christmas lights go up, Brain Creek stalks the neighborhood in my mom's tourist wagon in search of... Think I'm buzzing pumpkin, throw it at that pumpkin, because his mom did. Now give us good candy on Halloween, that pumpkin. You still look like something, but now it's something. Gonna shove it in your middle pocket. Think I'm buzzing pumpkin, throw it at that pumpkin, because his mom did. Now give us good candy on Halloween, that pumpkin. You still look like something, but now it's something. Gonna shove it in your middle pocket. That apple is not candy. Kick it egg, kick it egg, kick it egg. Granola bars are not candy. Kick it egg, kick it egg, kick it egg. Chicka chicka walk, chicka chicka walk, chicka walk a jug. Chicka chicka walk, chicka chicka walk, chicka walk a jug. Chicka chicka walk, chicka chicka walk, chicka walk a jug. Chicka chicka walk, chicka chicka walk, chicka walk a jug. An apple is not candy. Granola bars are not candy. Pretzels are not candy. Decomposing pumpkins. Based on past experiences, I believe I am the aforementioned plump kid from that song. Sadly, you are not. Thank you very much! We are Brain Cree! Next up is my mom getting back from book club! So we all need to get out of the way so she can pull in. That tennis ball tells her how far to pull up so she doesn't hit the trash cans again. One chilled Hallow's Eve I rose and sat right down to writing, for none had bothered to propose to their parties my inviting. So I crafted such a mock tale there in my darkened room to achieve literary justice and send each to their doom! We start with the most expendable. Greetings, King of Town! For this glutton, a stew of mutton, in which to slowly drown! I thought these were tales of the Mick Army! The mythical fast food crossover sandwich of legend! <laughs> What's this? The fair made marzipan? Considering a brand new man? Marzipan, have you seen my toenail clippings? I left them right on top of your toothbrush. Crystal, crystal on the ball. I need a better boyfriend, y'all. But the gypsy forces she invoked decided they would play a joke. <laughs> hey there, my little love jorb. These bunions, corns, and calluses aren't gonna pumice themselves. No. Oh, wait, what's that say? No. And now we join a man of... Hey, what the breath my doom? Um, you're already Coach Z. No sense in beating a dead horse. Hey, good point. And now we join a man obsessed with sales and liquidation, dabbling with fiendish tests and genetic experimentation. I'll just take this piece of brain from my wig. But you all know how these things go with unnatural creations. A puff of smoke, a greenish glow, voila! Horrible abomination! Oh, this was supposed to reduce my overhead! Not turn into my head! <coughs> Welcome to my world! <laughs> These two no-talkers need to go! Let's eliminate a poopsmith! Oh! Oh, uh, and Pom Pom was filled with a deadly gas that killed the popsmith really fast. Home Star Runner, fast like the wind, but how fast can he run when his knees can't bend? Ooh, hey, this ain't so bad. Gives me the good thoughts, you know. Well, I'll revise then, if you please. 
What if each leg had several knees? Hey, great! It's like I'm waiting through pudding with every step. And everyone knows how much the Homestyle Water loves waiting through pudding. Dog said, these doomy tales of macrame always very scary. Ooh, there's an idea. A crafty fad, once loved by all. I'll hang you on a 70s basement wall. Oh no, macrame, my worst nightmare. The macrame Al Homestar, I give you a macrame dream catcher for Decemberween every year. My point exactly. I'd break upstairs and cook my 70s dinner, woman. And put on a pantsuit for crying out loud. Halloween is very handy for those with appetites for candy, except for greedy trick-or-treaters like Strong Mad and the Cheat. <laughs> Suck out my new treat bag! <laughs> All night long they gathered sweets and tossed upon the growing heap. When finally struck the midnight hour, was not just candy he devoured. Want <laughs> it? <laughs> That's not macabre. Strong Man eats to cheat like four times a day. Why do you think we give him baths? Oh, fine. Well, I saved the most macabre for last. I'd like to see you get macabre on May. Strong Bad, as he always does, checks emails from his fans. What if, instead of boxing gloves, a pair of human hands? Ah, I'm hideous! How will I ever type with these waggly knuckles monstrosities? Now all have met their grisly fate. Such horrors for you to see. Perchance next time they'll all think twice before not inviting me. Happy Halloween! A surprise party? Just for me? Oh, you guys shouldn't have. You all really do care. Oh, <laughs> you aren't really supposed to see that. Uh, let's just flip the light back off, shall we? Uh. 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 Welcome back, gentle ladies. Without further mouth ado, let's get this style train of rolling. First up, brand new for 2009, it's the 2006 Code Z logo. Let's go to the jig board for that one. Ah. If our next pumpkin answers incorrectly, it'll win a trip to Angry Homestar between two mountains! Everyone, please give a warm hand to our next guest pumpkin, Psy Dungeon Man. Oh, yeah. Ding board says, Acapulco. While this pumpkin features fine European yellow smoke, I'm sorry, no paint knobs. <laughs> Ladies, look out for our next bachelor pumpkin, a striped green rabbit with two buds. Our next pumpkin may contain material that is unsuitable for children. Oh, no, Star, thanks for having me. I'm sorry, we're out of time. Ding board, song. Next time, please phrase your pumpkin in the form of no paint dogs. <laughs> And finally, everyone in today's audience gets to have to give me five bucks! Until next time, as always, Chant Words Together! Homestar Water's Wardroom, furnished by Bugs Contestant Stand and Scary Bugs Contestant Stand. Today's program was brought to you by the Homestar Junior on the Council Against Pay Dogs. This Halloween's gonna be the Christmas ball. Hot tricks, cool treats, good friends, and mortal! What? Mortal? No, that doesn't sound like something I would say. I was probably talking about the crisp, cool air, the fallen leaves, definitely the mortal! Nah, man, you're hearing things. 
I was just talking about mortal. Hey, you know, like this time of year, sometimes a little bit of mortal. Eh, maybe a little bit of mortal. But I would never say anything about ah, mortal. Pop pop, what happened? Did you get popped? Say a few bubbles. You can't be dead. You're my best friend and concubine. Oh, I should really look up what that word means. Whoa! What manner of stitch witchery have I stumbled upon this Hallow's Eve? A strong man. I think my evil, jealous side secretly killed Pom Pom without even telling my dopey, lovable side. All right, settle down, Homestar. Unky Strong Battle get you through this. Now, tell me exactly what happened. Well, it all started 117 days ago. And then I turned back around, and there was a puddle of pom-pom at my feet. And no one else saw anything? No one. Well, there was that inflatable pumpkin, but I think he said something about having a previous engagement. Man, I like that pumpkin. I should really get his phone number. Well, it definitely sounds like you killed pom-pom. First thing you need to do is dispose of the body. Here. Go to Bubs's and get everything on this laminated murder cover-up checklist. Plus a uh, twelve or a cold ones and a dozen maple Bismarcks for the cover-up. Then meet me back in my basement. Thanks, Dogman. You're a real cartoon pal. Oh, oh, this is gonna be a real good night. La la da da, who? La 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 do da, ha! <laughs> I'd like to see those teenagers try and egg the concession stand this year. Now that I own an ostrich farm! Boy, I'll see. And these piña coladas are torp norch. Oh, hey there, say they Bugs. Happy Halloween, Homestar! Yeah, and I'm standing here. Just the essentials tonight, just the essentials. Let me get a uh, 50 gallon drum of bleach. Check. A uh, 50 gallon drum of saw blades. Sound good? A uh, 50 gallon drum of body bags. Reasonable? All right, Homestar, you got this. These guys don't suspect a thing. Just order these last few everyday items and we'll win the clue. Um, I need a 12 pack of cold wines and um, a dozen maple bismarcks. I don't know what bismarcks are. I killed Pom Pom. Simmer down, Homestar. It's all right. We've all made quote unquote mistakes. Yeah, who hasn't slipped up and engaged in a little quote unquote Premeditated murder in cold blood. Am I right? So what do I do now? You need to establish an alibi. Yeah, with witnesses. And if you can swing it, witnesses. Okay, I can do that. 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 Homestar! Yep, sorry. Got it. Pew. Good kid, that Homestar. Should we light him up? Absolutely. God, I keep telling you, Poop Smith. I didn't do it. Stop acting like my dad. What? Yeah, I've been here all the live long day. At the KOT's castle. Or as I like to call it, Alibi City. Who? Pom Pom? Never heard of him. Sounds like someone who's still alive, though. Okay, cooperating witness. Bye. Click. Erhem. Oh, hey, Can of Town. Toot Smith. Did you guys hear that legitimate conversation I was just having? So legitimate. So you've been here at the castle all day? Yep, why right you? Innocent as charged. Aha! Uh -huh. I told you I didn't need your pile of what's it? It was him! Oh crap. Little old crap. Ah, objection! Leading the witness! Uh, if you need me, I'll be loked after dark. And he totally thinks the inflatable pumpkin is you, Bob Bob. He also tried to get its phone number, which is more than a little weird. Unky Strong Bad, I need more help. Pom Pom, quick, hide. Things have really gone downhill. Not only did I mortal Pom Pom, but now it's on record that I ate 1,500 pounds of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Stifle a laugh. Well, you know what you gotta do now, don't you? I will literally do whatever comes out of that sweet rectangular mouth next. Uh, in that case, you gotta get a 16 dozen maple Bismarcks. Done. These are kolaches. I said Bismarcks. Um, that's more like it. Now you gotta find a patsy. 
and pinned that murder on him like a corsage on a puffy-dressed prom date. You mean like with a lot of blood and them going, Ow! Ow! Homestar! Ow! Quit it! I'm not going to prom with you anymore! And I hate Bennigans! Yeah, something like that. Now go stash Pom-Pom's body at their house. But who I'm supposed to pin this murder on? The most unsuspecting saps you can find. Hey, Strong Sad, there's a bad horror movie on. Want to make snappy comments and obscure references while we watch it? You know I can't see. I just drew these eyes on my hands. Why don't you just take your hands down? Uh, because I may have also sort of super glued my eyes shut. What? For authenticity. I was trying to be a cosplay on air. That's a word you just made up. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you two were up to something. Aw, oh, cosplay dang. Okay, I admit it. My homemade kombucha is just apple cider vinegar with strong sad's lugus floating in it. My secret shame slash finest hour. Don't play games with me. You moron pom-pom. You stuffed his body right here under the couch all day, probably, since you murdered him. This again. I hear a yonder ruckus. God, what's all this noise? This is so lame. So what? So what's the scenario? Look, a specter rises. Oh no, Homestar! It's Pom Pom's ghost come back to haunt you. Don't you want to, you know, pee your pants or something else embarrassing while all these people are gathered here? No way, Uncle. Ow! Think it's sharp. No way, Uncle Strong Bad. You guys have showed me the light. It's time to fight Mortal with... Mortal! No, wait! Uh, Homestar, that wasn't a ghost! That was really him! You just... You... You... You, you killed Pop Um... Duh. Next season on HomestarWonder.com Man, inflatable pumpkin, you're a way better best friend than that floaty old pom-pom ever was. Hey, Coach Z, you really nailed that evil Aquafresh costume. Bork in the days on the Boulevard of Lorndon. We used to cork routines and the presence was fortin. Ew, maybe you were fortin. Hey, Strong Bad, I really like your Jay Leno costume. That guy had a really pointy forehead. Aw, oh, come on, don't you remember? Oh, it's a good time for large-headed monstrosities. Oh, to sell you cheeseburgers. Hey, strong band tonight. Ha! Oh, ho, ho. Uh, hey, Homestar. Where does the Dark Lord Sauron live again? What are you talking about, like, mortal? The land of mortal? Where the shadows lie? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, and, uh... What illegal act did you commit against Pom Pom again? Oh, you mean mortal? Uh huh. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, there's a lot of mortal in mortal. Orcs mortal in wogs. Wogs mortal in orcs. Excuse me. Orcs murdering wargs in the land of Mordor. <laughs> That's better. I can't stand it, Cochise. I know you planned it. I'm going to set it straight in this water gate. Hey, strong man. I really like your muscle toys costume. I had a bunch of those little pink guys. I played with them in the sandbox. Till that cat started pooping in there. Why, oh, my baby, baby. Hey, Pom Pom. I really like your dumb Deloise costume. I definitely know why that guy was famous. Boat Nicks? You're in the boat next, maybe? Can I get a boat next? Boat next! The 
this Halloween's not working! Boy, you said it strong, man. This is the lamest haunted house ever. My parents haven't entertained the thought of peeing themselves even once. Scary shoes. Really? Spooky shoes? No, no. Scary shoes. Spooky shoes are the next room. Homestar, your haunted house is even worse than normal this year. You ever think of using any actual Halloween decorations? No. Why does Ben only let me use stuff from the Goodwill donations pile? Incomplete jigsaw puzzle! <laughs> this place is a disgrace to haunted houses, haunted hovels, haunted timeshares, and haunted extended stay motels even. Why, if I had a haunted house, I think it would turn out a little something like the following cartoon. <laughs> Welcome to St. Cadaver Stump's Totally Not Just an Old Furniture Warehouse Morgchuary! Open weeknights in October, located just off I-20. The first room would come out swinging with everybody's favorite Ghibli's painting, the Ghibli's painting! Come on in here. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard that before. But in order to take it to the next level, my haunted house would have a horrible painting of... Somebody's dad! <laughs> hey! Well, come on in here! Why is he wearing cycling gear? He's not even that serious about riding! Hey, I can do a 220 in 445. <laughs> then there would be the gross out room. But instead of severed limbs and surgeries gone wrong, it's just a silent white room filled with pure stench. And oh, what a stench it is! Let me lay it on you like a movie trailer. Strong man, moisture. Smoothie, breath, caked, armpit, latte. Strong Bad, you know those words in that sequence are illegal. Arrest him, King of Town. Keep bottling up that smell, Poop Smith. Wait, I can arrest people? I think so. I mean, you're allowed to execute people, right? Do the words do hoo hoo mean anything to you? Wow, this has been a supreme fish delight. Ooh, there'd also be one of those immersive horror experience rooms that are so popular these days. Okay, gotta logic this out. Open the vault. Before time runs out, skeletons pointing at a clue. Am I on the right track? No, nope, just, just reaching the toilet. I just want you to reach in the toilet. He's pointing at the toilet. It's full of poop. But that's just misdirection. I just want you to touch the poop. They want me to think I should reach in the toilet. No, I do want you to reach in the toilet. That is all that I want you to do. It's too easy. Touch the poop. But I know better. Touch the freaking poop. Most horror stuff is pretty obvious. Like, of course it's terrifying to get disem-jowled by a lunatic with a machete. Machete! Chop. But I think people are ready for the more subtle terror of... Two-star bed and breakfast! It's somehow worse than if it only get one star! Try scrambled eggs! <laughs> Questionable hairs in the anti-macassar! Anti-macassar? Shut up! Failed toilet paper rose! What kind of inhuman monsters would run a place like this? Oh, it's so charming. Shut, Shut up, lady. lady! Nowadays, everybody's tired of the same old evil clowns, undead cheerleaders, and all those bloody-eyed found footage children. Nine sequels. But for my haunted house, I will unleash an entirely new horror icon. Say hello to the new face of terror, Large Bean! Come on! Anybody? Don't you think that large bean is unsettling? And next on our tour, if you will all please gather around, fill in all available space, please. We have a prime specimen of large bean. Wait, what, what the crap is this? Other varieties include small bean. Stop it! Extra large bean. This is not a science museum! And of course, my favorite, teeny weeny beanie. You do not call Large Bean Teeny Weeny Beanie! I sure hope they sell Large Bean plush dolls in the museum gift shop! I think you might be pleasantly surprised, young scholar. Shut up! Large Bean will eat your soul! He'll eat all your souls! Wow, Strong Bad. The spooky shoes room really affected you this year, huh? I thought this was the scary shoes room. Oh, wait. Close your eyes. Um, okay. Open them. You're in the spooky shoes room now. Ugh. You were right, strong man. 
This Halloween's not working. When nights are chill and filled with doom, again will rise the cursed leg you. So if you're out on Halloween, beware the wrath of largest bee. <laughs> See, this guy respects large bean. I'm sorry, strong man. I, I, I can't get behind large bean. All right, 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 now, ladies. No. All right. Strongman, you got it this year. What do I got? Best tropical Beetlejuice costume ever worn by man or beast. No, I'm I'm Diamond Dave. Yeah. I'll be taking these huggies and uh, whatever cast you got. Son, you got a penny on your head. We'll be right back with more stuff. Hey, strong man. I really, really like your hey, strong man. I really like your skipping commercials costume. Oh, so you're not dead, Pom Pom. That's pretty great. What's that guy's name again? Franklin? Spalding? John Voight? Maybe a little bit. I will kill him! If he doesn't put on some more clothes. Ugh. Molded plastic panties. King of Town, that is an actual costume, right? You didn't just get out of what I can only assume is a bath for you? No, I mean something. I'm important. Hey, to cheat. Aren't you worried that the KOT will try to eat you? No, no, I'm more of a cookie push man myself. Fudgy the whale always made me a little fudgy. Yes, I know more word talk. Marzipan, I thought you dressed up as that guy a few years ago. Homestar, I dressed up as Prince that year. What, what? The Prince of Pop? No, the King of Pop. Oh, the kid is not his son. From the makers of Hot Jones and Hot Pooey comes the Strong Man Oyster Smoothie Breath Caked Armpit Latte. Oh, my sweet Jennifer, there's no coming back from this one. Ah, uh, here we are in the spooky woods after a hilarious Halloween adventure. And what an adventure it was! We got to trick or treat at Sonor card gauges? Hot Derby, Calendula. I've been waiting for you all night. Whoa, look at all those melty candy bars. And we got to go ghost hunting in the King of Town's castle with Sharp Dean? Oh, I got a hit. We got us a good read. On account of my name, Sharp Dean. And then we got to try samples of a new flavor of Florfy Porfs from that creepy walk around marshmallow we run into. Try a sample pack of new Fluffy Puff Pumpkin Spice Latte Flavored Banana Bread Malloweens! And who could forget the delightful wedding of the Goblin and the Ghibli's painting? He accepts me for who I am! And now it's time to relax and oh so gently comment on each other's costumes. Like we always do. Yeah, that's everybody's favorite part anyways. I'll go first. Oh, mad strong man. The door from Seinfeld? I've always wanted to do this. Ahem. <clears throat> Buzz. Yeah? It's George. Come on up. I'm Mrs. Chandler Bong. Nah, you guys got the wrong Thursday night program. You're looking for the Poopsmith. Like Flaming Glorbs, Poopsmith. Like Flaming Glorbs. So, Marzipan, why are you just dressed up as teenage Marzipan? do too much talking these days. These days? 
Fortunately, you never have very many lines. Just you wait, Strombad. The reddest radish, the more reddest, reddest radish, and the luau number two are right around the corner. Bubs, 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 bubs. I really like your American hot sauce businessman Metallica costume, and don't deny that that's what it is, because that's obviously what it is, and there's no alternative. Oh, okay. Good Z, are you running out of 80s and 90s rappers to be? No, no, I'm the man we all know and love. I think my name is Kwame. Can you tell me anything about Kwame aside from his polka dots and the bleachy squiggle and his high top fade? I'm, uh, I'm reasonably certain that his name is Kwame. Homestar, you, you know you're dressed up as a lady, right? Nonsense, boy. I'm Mr. B. Natural at your service. I'm the spirit of fun and laughter and music. Knew your father I did. You leave my father out of this. Bloop. <laughs> hey, Strongman. I really, really like your long, sad costume. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Somebody get that man an oval silk token. Oval, oval. I got one by you. Uh, King of Town, I just want to make sure, since you usually dress up as food, you don't actually consume that stuff, do you? How do you think I eat expired food? Those bubbles scour the mold layer right off. The preceding statement has not been approved by Dow Chemical. Hey, strong say, I really like your Lady Millhouse costume. Hey, strong said. It was a hard-fought decision this year between the Utz girl, the Morton Salt girl, the Sunbeam Bread girl, Wendy, the enigmatic and reclusive Sarah Lee, and little Debbie. Hey, I gained 15 pounds just saying those names. Uh, the cheat? What, what's going on over there? Did we forget to get you your shots or something? He's bound so tightly with tension and anger, he approaches the state of rigor mortis. Just for a minute, let's all do the bump. 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 Pom Pom, that little orange bird always creeped me out. I find it highly disturbing that I really want to crush his cute skull and drink the juice from inside. Uh, I always thought it was kind of awesome that I wanted to crush his cute skull and drink the juice from inside. All right, is that everybody? Any other comments anyone wants to make? References? No? All right, then everybody back to my place for hot chocolate with fluffy puff, pumpkin spice, latte flavored, banana bread flavored, mala weeds! Oh, that's a right. thing. So, do we knock or what? Oh, no. Um, mush, mush, mush. Trick or treat! Hot Derby, Calendula. I've been waiting for you all nice. Whoa, look at all those melty candy bars. Go ahead, take as many as you like, and then I'll call the police. Awesome, thanks so much. Wait, what? Oh, I got a hit. We got us a good read. I think the poop man's ghost is in this very room. We're not looking for the poop smith's ghost, you backwoods coat rack. Oh, oh, you will respect and condone, Sharp Dean. Ah, uh, Sharp Dean, what credentials do you have as a ghost hunter exactly? My daddy once met Steven Seagal at China Buffet. Cause my name's Sharp Dean. Ooh. Works for me. Color me genuinely impressed. Come on, bow-legged man. Try a sample pack of new fluffy puff pumpkin spice latte flavored banana bread Malloweens. Why, they're so delicious. Who do you think took this bite out of my head? <gasps> Hi, Coxie. Please rescue me so I don't die in here. Holy gosh! I don't want to go in that spooky place, Monster Man. Don't make me go. Homestar, it'll be fine. 
Now get in there. Oh, Marzi Pan. I hate these dang old photo booths. It's an absolute waste of a perfectly good booth. It's the crown jewel of my Halloween party. Now look at the camera and make like we're a great couple. The laughter and love. Carefree shenanigans. The, the one, one where we, we kiss. kiss. Ah, Marzipan! Why is there a spooky specter in our picture? I think this might be a... Might be a... Haunted photo booth! Get in here, you guys! I want to make this ghost appear! Maybe it'll possess us with demonic barf powers! Everybody say, smiling bag! Smiling oh, bag! There's one. There's one. Okay. Hey, what the crap? How come we didn't get no cool ghosties? I got a little ghost Jorby in my pictures. Hey there, Jorby. He reminds me of one of my famous sneezes. Hachor! Oh, man. Even Coach Z got one? That's it, boys. We're gonna get haunted by this photo booth at any cost. We gotta try something else. Everybody close your eyes and say, Jaundice Jerry will never marry. Three times. <gasps> John this Jerry will never marry. John this Jerry will never marry. John this Jerry will never marry. Oh man, we just made John this Jerry appear. Guess I should have seen that coming. Hey, check it out! Somebody finally gave me my props. What are these props from? Got some Y2K glasses. Oh, a handle bra mustache. These things will never not ironically be unironically always um bacon spicy nachos. This is a perfect chance to practice my French accent. I am Hercule Poirot. Hercule Poirot. Hercule Poirot. Johnny Jerry will never marry. Johnny Jerry will never marry. Johnny Jerry will never marry. The king of town! Stabby Gabby's always crabby! Stabby Gabby's always crabby! Oh, come on! Different background! Yay, yay, yay! The Bruder! Middle Man! Toast Crunch! Oh, these nickel slots are finally paying off! Demonic barf powers! Demonic barf powers! Demonic barf powers! Just give me the barf powers! The crap? The crap? The crap! How come everybody else can get the haunted smudge to appear except me and the cheat? You've been going to church on me to cheat? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Where's your gold tooth? Orange and black, loose tooth removals, loose tooth removals, loose tooth removals. It was the tooth! Loose tooth removals. Get out of here! But if the cheat's tooth was causing the ghost glare, how did it get in everyone's photos? I think I has the solution. Look at this pattern. Oh, great. Now Frenchy Detective is going to tell us how it all shook out. The cheat ate too many taffies and it pulled his gold tooth out. Then because those things are nasty, he stuck it somewhere in the photo booth. Then because the king of town is nasty, he ate the taffy. Then the poop smith had it. Then it was a piece of marzipan's flat it wound up on Bubs' fez. One of my vest buttons. On Coach Z's stars tenaciously clenched. That's all great, sir talks a lot. But where's his gold tooth now? The, the Goblin! We should have had known. Now let's all cram in that booth for a group photo before I have to return it to the wedding Marzipan had me steal it from. <laughs> hey, Coach Z. He dressed up as a dog. Yeah, I go to Malarve. Kick, porch, it's all in the morn. Chorp, chorp, porch, porch, cork. How's Annie? How's Annie? How's Annie? 
How's Annie? Hey, Homestar, I really like your Mark Lemke costume. Homestar, what up for the waves? Shut up, Wong, say Homestar. I'm White, say Homestar. And I'm White, say I'm Dale Wolfie. With a glowy baseball bat for some reason. Vroom, vroom. Here comes the thick of yeah! Shut up, Seuss's Abuelita! Oh, man. Strong man. Red face, red panties man. I remember that guy. I think he came to my school once when I was a kid. And so did a lot of cops. Now, ordinarily, Pom Pom, I'd have you sent right down to the juicing room. But aren't you like a superfood now? I don't need me no antioxidants. I'm very pro-oxidant myself, actually. Why couldn't you dress up as the German kid? Uh, hey, King of Town. When I said don't come around here no more, it wasn't a costume idea. I literally meant don't come around here no more. Okay, the G, the G, the G. Let me guess. Baseball glove on head, man. Huh? No. Um, swollen cow udders on your head, man. <laughs> no. Swollen cow udders on your head, lady! <laughs> uh, Marzipan, we need to talk. I want you to express yourself. Don't you want to express yourself? This is me expressing myself, okay? And I don't need 37 pieces of flair to do it. Oh, Marzipan! Nice invisible flare deuce. So, strong said, does the WC and WC Field just stand for Winston Churchill? I'm neither of those. I'm world famous detective. <coughs> Somebody, don't give strong said to Heimlich. He's choking. I now pronounce you husband and wife! And they said I'd never marry! My Japan, it's over! Okay! I can't take another day of this garbage relationship! That's fine. Wait, what day is it? Halloween. Oops, sorry. I was looking at next week. This is what I'm supposed to say to you today. My Japan, this is it! This Halloween, I'm finally going to tell a top-notch four and a half stars with over 600 reviews quality ghost story. And you know what that means. Um, that you're gonna break up with me next week, apparently? Mr. Poofers must die! Who the crap is Mr. Poofers? Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone, look. Hey, everyone, look at Mr. Poofers. Mr. Poofles is a dog, but he sounds like this. Miffa, Miffa, Mika Moo! That is funny talk for a dog. What a great clown with legs Mr. Poofles is. Uh, I mean, what a great dog Mr. Poofles is. Mr. Poofles eats pine cones for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Imagine that. Pine cones for B, L, and D. Oh, look. Oh, look, everyone. There's Old Man Root Beer. Old Man Root Beer is not a big fan of Mr. Poofles. Not really that much of a big fan at all. That kid eats my pine cones, shouted old man Root Beer. I'm going to take a nap on my college hammock, so don't eat my pine cones, old man Root Beer told Mr. Poofles. Miffa, miffa. After a few moments, old man Root Beer had fallen asleep. Just when the moment was right, Mr. Poofles stole his beard. What a prize. An old man's beard, no less. Um, what did I just listen to? Oh, sorry. The end. Is that what you dragged us all here for? Wasn't Mr. Poofer supposed to die? Oh man, did it happen again? Every time I try and tell a spooky Mr. Poofer story... Which has now been exactly one time... He always survives. I thought if I could finally kill him off, it would definitely become a top-notch four and a half stars with over 600 reviews quality ghost story. But it didn't even sound like you tried to off Mr. Poofers in the first place. Oh, but I did. Watch this. I'm about to say, then Mr. Poofers' head fell off and he died, died, died.
Ahem. Mr. Poofless was thinking about a branch, a hotel, and a $350 pair of loafers. Gee whiz, that's a lot of Kansas mash right there. See? It's like something takes a hold of you when you're telling a Mr. Poofless story. Ah, hey, what a bunch of balarney. Ain't nobody can get fatally irresponsible with an animal like Coach Z. Let me take a whack at it. And I'll try and finish your story, too. Look, gentlemen, a roundish box. Mr. Puffers pretended there was such thing as a roundish box. He gave it to Oldman Rutper, who absolutely had not asked for it. This better be replacement pine cones, belted Oldman Rutper. It was Alpha Hairbrush. Oh, that wasn't me! That wasn't me! I tried to kill him, I swear! Oh, shut up, Coach C, you infant. I'll kill the stupid dog. Niffa Mika, said Mr. Poofers out of his entire mouth. Mr. Poofers never complains, except once in a cafeteria with bad, bad pudding. I mean, have you ever? <gasps> I was wrong! I was so wrong! Ooh, this is getting supernaturally interesting. All right, Poofers, it's time for you to face the deathly power. I invoke protections from the third arcane level and send my mind into the psychic vault. You shall not break through. Pime cone. <laughs> oh, oh, let me out. It was horrible. It was like Homestar's imagination was gushing out of my mouth like fire. I know, right? Okay, fine. We all knew it was coming down to this anyway. I will mark Mr. Poofers for you sad sacks. All right, concentrate, strong bad. Keep your mind strong. Bad. See what I did? Yes! yes! Okay, sorry. It was nearly sunset. Old man Rootbeer stood at the end of the Ave. Flamethrower slung across his back. You had one pime cone too many, Mr. Poofers. Harkened old M. R. Beer. He took dead aim on Mr. Poofers. Dead aim, you see? And then he pulled the... Trolley round the block and then he gave it a ding. Mr. Poofers hopped aboard and they began to sing. How could we ever? How come we never? Why can't we slide that oh. It's no use. Mr. Poofers is too powerful. Well, I guess we'll just have to start worshipping Mr. Poofers as our dark overlord. That sounds good it's to me. Calm so oh, oh, down. Oh, 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 oh. All hail Mr. Poofers. Miffa, 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 Hey, Homestar. Nice Dork the Daring costume. Yeah, that's who I dressed up as. Dork the Daring. No, no, I said... Dork the Daring. Why, why? Dork the Daring. Ugh. Hey, Homestar, tap left, no right, no sword, no left sword. Oh, man! Mom, can I have 75 more dollars and quarters? And shit a go-go, baby. That's all that I remember from that game. Cool shading, maybe? Slow-mo? Scarf? Effects? Hey, Marzipan, I really like your thrift store Gandalf costume. Hey, Marzipan, where you been? <laughs> yeah, nobody gets that. Hey, Marzipan, you're living all over me. <laughs> no one gets it. That's okay. Whatever's cool with me. Yeah, I get the joke, Strong Sad, and it's still really lame. Yeah, ha, -ha. Hey, Strong Sad. I really tend to like your Bill Murray from Cartoon Ghostbusters from the voice of Garfield the Movie dot com costume. Never before has one voice so embodied half closed eyelids. Strong mad? Father Zog? Buddy? Father Zog about my costume? No, big fella. There are no jokes about your costume. Because no one knows who it is. But Zog's drab! Yeah, but you didn't dress up as Judge Dredd, did you? But proximity to Judge Dredd. 
I'm sorry, it's not enough. You're just blue Frankenstein. Better luck next year. <laughs> uh, Coach Z, do I even want to know how you and Pom Pom are pulling this costume off? I can assure you, you do not. Get back in there. Y'all think that's the poop smith. This is gonna be about food. But in reality, it's gonna be about food. I finally bred sea monkeys large enough to make sea monkey po' boys. Yep, I told you. About food. I've got Hyperlink stashed amundo. Hey, Hobsaw. I really like your Doug Henning made his own mustache disappeal costume. It's really good. It's a really good costume. King of Town, spot on Little Debbie costume. Bubs, so visible Little Debbie's dad costume. I always figured Little Debbie was the snack child of Lord Baldrick Entenman and Dame Sarah Lee. Say, Bubs, can you sell me any previously owned vessels? Check it out, 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 check it out. Check it out. Say, what's that character one? Why, it looks like someone's left out the cushion from a papa son chair. That's right. Real comfortable. Take a nap. Say, that's no cushion. Why, it's some sort of beast of the apocalypse. Say, beast of the apocalypse, you look like you might need to be a little bit of peace. Is that right? Well, you know what that means, character one. A little bit of sacrificial fruit. That's right. Make an offering. Avert the apocalypse. All right. The Homestar Runner enters the Spooky Woods Contest. Er, never mind. Everybody loves the Homestar Runner. He is an athletic tarif. Once upon that singular time, the Homestar Runner and Pom Pom were playing it safe. Mmm, uh, I did it. Now it's your turn to think about a soft pillow, Pom Pom. Up bounded the fearsome Brother Strong, wearing scary monster outfits. Horror show! Burped Strong Bad. Such a fly! Squelched the Homestar Runner, and he lay down and died. Uh, that was unexpected, admitted Strong Bad just now. Oh no, I gave up the ghost. You'll stay that way unless you enter the spooky woods and face your three fears before the witching hour. Quoth Lord High Plot Layer. It's what I must do. Let's go, Pom Pom. But Pom Pom had already gone to a party at some rich kid's house. I gulp. Guess gulpo. I'm on gulpamundo. My own gulp fantasy 2000. Tedious the Homestar Runner, at great risk to the listenability of the story. And so the dead Homestar Runner entered the spooky woods. No amount of gulps can express how scared I am. Just then, he came face to face with his first fear. Oh no! Page 73 of my old life science textbook. Can you identify this organelle that is located in a plant cell? Ask the life science textbook in Coach Z's voice for some reason. I'm not gulp afraid of you. The Golgi apparatus. Aporpororptus! That was easy. I'll have my corporeal form back in no time. Said the Homestar Runner after clearly consulting a thesaurus. Meanwhile, behind the very great bush, the Brothers Strong were scheming and steaming. All types of drat, said Strongbad, coining an awesome new phrase that will endure throughout the ages. We've got to make sure his next fear is so gruesome he won't be able to face it. Grunt, grunted Gruntbad. I'm here because family is hard to say no to, said a pallid bust of palace. And so the little bit less dead Homestar Runner forged ahead and faced his next fear, which was... Eyeball Barfat! <laughs> oh, I'm not scared of that. <laughs> Patoo! Luxuriates my skin! What the? Almost cussed Strongbad. 
But I am scared of... Gup, 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 gup. Really toothpicks. And all eyes turn to Strong Sad's Club Sandwich. That's stupid. No one's afraid of frilly toothpicks. Oh. Oh, you're right. Thanks, Strong Bird. And with that, the Homestar Runner successfully faced his second fear. All types of drag, repeated Strong Bad, flirting with oversaturating the market with his new phrase too soon. It looks like we have to come up with something stupid and weird, not gruesome. And so the nearly not dead Homestar Runner ventured deeper into the spooky woods. Gee damn, where to go? I wonder what holes my third fear will bring. Just then, he came to a clearing in the woods. Look at us. We're playing ping pong on a kitchen table. Not regulation in the slightest, said Strong Bad wearing dress shoes with no socks. While definitely illegal, I don't think non-regulation ping pong is my third feel. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because it's almost a witching hour, and now you'll be stuck like this forever. Slam a jammer! And Strong Bad slammed the ball with wicked top spin, and it flew into the thorny thicket, revealing. Oh no, my final feel! A half decomposed raccoon being carried around by a family of wet pigeons! said the Homestar Runner in a children's book. Ah, uh, but look! The gross wet pigeons think Strong Bad's ping pong ball is an egg! Is it going to hatch it? They were just as gulp of me as I was gulp of them, said the Homestar Runner, really shoehorning some kind of half-baked moral into this thing. Behold the witching hour! And so, having faced his three fears, Homestar Runner gained back his corporeal form, said narrator Strong Bad, who totally already knew what corporeal meant, like, way before this book. Well, hey, hey, it looks like I get to keep my squiggly ghost tail. Does it tickle your fancy, Mr. Strongbird? Such a fright, moaned Strongbird, and he lay down and died. Now I gave up the ghost. <laughs> Laughed all the other characters in a satisfying end of story fashion. Join us next week, children, when we read... Strong Bad's ghost enters the Homestar Runner, thereby possessing him demonically. Such a great story, Strong Bad. Thanks, I just r read it to you. Um, I know. Say, is there something missing here? Oh, crap, we forgot to put on our costumes. Wait, our costumes or our costumes? We better pee out out of here and get changed. Pee -ow! Pee -ow! Hey, the cheese. I really like your Emperor A. Steve costume. Cheetah, cheetah. Whoa, did no one else just see that? It's just a certain way I do things. Say boobs, say boobs, say boobs, boobs, boobs. You are dressed as the Aladdin genie, dressed as Captain Lou Albano, and there's nothing you could do to make me think otherwise. Okay. <laughs> Sid Barrett! Uh, sorry, big guy. He wasn't in the band when they made that album. Oh! Wizard of Oz! Yeah, no, wrong album there, too. My body's a really hard shape to make costumes for! So, what am I looking at here, Homestar? You're just as 70s Homestar that dropped out of college and backpacked across Scandinavia? Yeah, pretty much. No way! He's dressed as Snufkin from Duva Janssen's Moom and Troll books, comics, and cartoons! Do 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 ba 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 Nice mighty Bush reference there, King of Town. Mighty what? This is just what happens when you fall asleep chewing eight packs of Hubba Bubba! You're a hubba bubba nightmare, all right. Ooh, Pom Pom, do some Mode 7 for us. No oh, yeah. Pixels the size of your face. Hey, Strong Dad. I really like your Give Me Nightmares Forever and Always costume. 
Yeah, where are you supposed to be? The love child of Dobby the House Elf and Ron Weasley from some of your fan fiction? No, no. I'm from the Cremaster Cycle. I assure you, it's way more pretentious than any of my fanfic. Ah, the Poopsmith. Looking at your costume, I can almost hear the satisfying slash skin crawling plastic squeak of that oversized white clamshell VHS case. That's it! I thought you already dressed up as Tron, old man, like 20 years ago. Ooh, I smell a shared cinematic universe! Shut up! Good Z, if you don't want to, I can live with that. But you gotta put back the double-knit, reversible striped pants. There's no need to argue. I just don't understand how you haven't run out of costume ideas yet. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. I'm grasping at straws here. Hobsa, that is the most accurate, patriotic ho van roll costume I've ever seen. Ah, contraption flapshin, what's your hedge fund? Ah, uh, strong bad. You're a big devotee of big pens now, apparently? Of course, shut up! I'm known far and wide for my enthusiasm for big ballpoint pens. Look it up! Hey, Marzi Ben, I really like your- Homestar, let me stop you right there. I have no idea what this is from. I just wore what Strong Sad told me to wear. Yeah, and honestly, I only saw the movie once when I was like 10. I just like that pirate guy. Emperor Augustus Steve, what have you wrought? Hey, Steve! Feel free to follow along with my simple step-by-step -step instructions. And don't forget to use a big point pen. I... I am always using it. So... Do you guys think that's true? This is really it? Yeah, probably. I feel like we've been steadily working towards this over the years. You mean we're not gonna get into any Halloween hijinks or nothing? Ah, I'm getting too old for hijinks. And the last time I attempted even medium jinx, I threw out my torn rubdominal scrimmage! Devil eggs? Three pieces of two-ply? You call those Halloween jinx? Why, I could whistle so hard right now, I... Ooh! If you've suffered a torn rubdominal scrimmage, Halloween jinx don't need to be a thing of the past. I don't? Low jinx are all especially formulated to treat creepy middle-aged ailments, so you'll stop talking about them in public. Hey, Coach C. How's it going? Well, this morning in the locker room, my rubdominus swelled... Boom! Reclaim your Halloween low jinx with low jinx are all. A division of Fluffy Puff Foam Elite Hot Pui Smarty Juice Fit Electric subsidiaries. We now return to Channel 5's Halloween programming. Slow night at City Hall, eh, fellow night watchmen? That establishes our location and humdrum routine. Please, don't keep walking towards me. I beg of you. No, you're still walking towards me. No! Stand down, local law enforcement. Group of random teens is here. Miss Fitzteries, thank goodness it's you. I almost didn't recognize you in those absurd zigzag head pants. Yeah, I, I know. I'm trying to branch out. When we rushed in here, the mysterious silhouette had vanished. Oh, great. Another fanatical, mysterious believer. Zigglies, why would anyone want to kill Councilman Zung Permit? Look out behind you! Da, da, da. Whoa, whoa, whoa. La, la, la. Large bees. So unsettling! Huh? <gasps> Strong bad, stop breathing! We have to play in a band! The moonlight, things get kinda kooky. Girl, you know they do, and your parents don't respect me as a man. In the moonlight, 
Things get kind of crazy. They're trying to extricate me out of these absurd zigzagged pants. Moonlight. Kuke. Well, strong bad, it looks like your never-ending attempts to unshackle me from my ridiculous Ed pants have finally paid off. Let's find out whose rich uncle he really is. Sis, sis, sis. Sis, sis, sis. Sis, David off guy. I thought it was going to be that creepy night watchman. So did I, honestly. Why would you want to kill Councilman's own permit? <laughs> I don't know. I guess he wouldn't give me no permits. There's only one place for a criminal like you. Playing in our band. Are we forgetting he totally just murdered somebody? Moonlight. Kooky. Moonlight. Kooky. Kooky. Moonlight. Things get kind of cookie, oh yeah. Cookie, oh yeah. We're saying cookie, oh yeah. <laughs> So, that whole deal we just watched, was that like the list of side effects for Coach Z's Jinxie Rolls medicine? Uh, what do you mean? You know, like, side effects may include zigzag head pants, large B, cliched parodies, and playing in a band. No way! The only side effects of low Jinxie Roll are, uh... Happy Halloween! <laughs> Here I come! Finally, someone let me out of my cage! Oh, I can fix that! I ain't happy! Here comes Bond. Here comes Zod. Kneel before Zod! No, no. Kneel before Bard. Uh-uh. Kneel before Zod. Kneel before Bard. Kneel before Zod. Kneel before Bard. Zod. Bard. Zod. Bard. Zod. Bard. Zod. 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 Say, Bubs, I really like your costume. It's 70s Bubs, giving a piggyback ride to Totoro, eating a purple burrito. It's such a great costume. You know. Ba -da -dum, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Thank you. Strong Mad? Oh, no. Probably from Labyrinth. Pom Pom? Oh, no. Probably from Great Muppet Cable. Strong Sad? Oh, no. Probably from Sesame Street. Boop Smith? Oh, no. Probably from Pigs in Space. Ooh, the Hansonian method. Hey, King, why didn't you dress up as King Ding Dong? That's a no-brainer. Those devil's food hockey pucks? Never. I'm pretty sure it's all the same ingredients. Just extruded out of a different machine in the Double Dare guy's basement. Which is where I assume all snacks come from. Don't get me started on Mark Summers. The cheat loves Sosuke! <laughs> That's a real swell zombie Ziggy Stardust costume, Marzipan. Real swell. How come you got one of them drive through speakers stuck in your chest? The powder is yours. Sprinkle it on your fries. Hey, Hamsaw, I really like your BB-8 got won over by a sand qualo costume. Eh, uh, I don't know. Personally, I would have gone with Oscar the Grouch 2000. Henson! Henson! Up next, it's Thrills and Chills with Ghiblis vs. Poofers. Mr. Poofers careens through life like a Wichita bandsaw, and that's no lie. Come on! If you really loved me, you would say so. 
Set a delightful oil on canvas by acclaimed folk artist Rothschild Rootbill. Sure beats paint and pine cones. Geez, I don't know. I think I prefer his work with the Furious Five much more. He had more street cred back hey, then. Hey, thanks for coming to my party, guy. Oh, geez, I don't know. I think I prefer his work with the Furious Five much more. He had more street cred back hey, then. Hey, thanks for coming to my party, guys. Ah, oh, it's Coach Z. Do rock up and do rock up and that's right on time, it's Coach Z. You know, and I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, Mom had me do the boots, and I did the sewing. Uh, looking good, Storm Red. Death Clock or whoever, that's great. Death clock for the last time! I'm some freaking guy I chose at random from WarioWare. You should have picked the disco guy! Yesterday, I was out in my garden and I was weeding, and there was this little worm. Oh, everybody looks so great! You know, there's more punch over there if anybody wants any. Alright, everybody! Line up! We're gonna play flashlight ghost story turning with a flashlight. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go first. Um, okay. Once there was this green goblin. And um, he used to look around. And um, I guess he did a dance. Oh man, that was terrible. Gorblin, he bought a new fridge, and he tricked it out with a drawer freezer, French doors, and an ice maker that the space is ballpark ice. You know, the kind that kind of looks like little icy tater torts. 36 by 65 inches, 28 cubic feet of food storage. I mean, we're talking some freaking hustle. <laughs> Um, the goblin is wearing a hat, and the fridge is wearing a hat, uh, a pile of hats is wearing a hat. Oh, brother, give me that. So then the robot came and he started vaporizing everybody with his vapor gun. Oh man, this nose is amazing! Look at the Doingo Boingo! Doingo Boingo, Doingo Boingo, Doingo Boingo! I need to get some more punch. Ooh, ooh, and then there was fried fish in heavenly hair. And so it turns out the robot had a human brain that was stolen from a kind kindly old man. And the children of that old man came to the robot looking for their father. And they called out to him. And the robot's human brain remembered his children and his stolen life. And he was moved to tears. But the tears shorted out his circuits and fried his brain. 
Then the robot toppled over, and he crushed his children and the goblin too. And none of them lived. <laughs> oh, jeez, what a total downer. Oh, man, I'm out of here. That's the saddest story I've ever heard. You can't come to next year's party. <laughs> Gee, thanks for coming to my party, Strong Thad. I forgot that this cartoon didn't have a stand around and comment on each other's costumes part. The tradition of standing around in the spooky woods after a Halloween cartoon and commenting on one another's costumes began in 2001 with the cartoon The House- Ugh, Pipe down, you walking Homestar Runner wiki! This cartoon contains another reference to the Homestar Runner wiki. This cartoon's about to contain another instance of blood if you don't shut up. Ooh, I can help with that. It's the blood. Cheat Cliff, Cheat Cliff, no one should be in a Thornway Garfield cartoon. Well, it finally happened. Coach Z ran out of rappers to dress up as and had to repeat one. No, no, I've never dressed up as anybody from Run DMC. Honest. There's no way, Coach Z. You definitely did in, like, 2003, 2005, maybe. Yeah, I specifically remember there being, like, a King of Rourke joke. Or maybe it was... Work this way. Are we really not going to address how Coach Z has fingers in this cartoon? Hey, Pom Pom. I really like your Twinkie the Kid ate too many Twinkies as a kid costume. More like I hanker for a hunk of cheese council propaganda. It was the right costume to do and a tasty way to do it. King of Town, are you simultaneously the Quaker Oats guy and Wilford Brimley? Wilford Brimley was the Quaker Oats guy. Yeah, but he didn't dress like a Quaker. He was just like the pitch man, standing in a kitchen, making breakfast. Yeah, yeah, I'm with the king on this one. Wilford Brimley would hatch from his cocoon, covered in oatmeal, and then say his famous catchphrase. Diabetes. Strong man, how come both your costumes in this cartoon gotta be like... Medically naked. You leave my bread basket out of this! Uh. Guillermo, can you check and see if Stephen Piercy from Rat is still in my torture chamber? Yes, master. Can you make me a vampire now? But! Corporate accounts payable, Marzipan speaking. Just a moment. Corporate accounts payable, Marzipan speaking. Just a moment. PC load letter? PC Lord letter? Hey, Poopsmith, I really like your evil Twad costume. Um, that, that is literally what he is. That was like a real character in a movie. You mean that doesn't count as one of my delightful misinterpretations? Nope, your description was dead on. You blew it this time, Homestar. Aw, end of line. Like, this is the end of my line of dialogue. Thank you. All right, Homestar, let's get this over with. Just say the line. Ahem. It's just a fresh wound. Did you say fresh wound? No, I said flesh wound. Yeah, that's not the right quote. It's just a flesh wound. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Flesh wound. Uh, all right, let me hear you say, in the flesh. You mean, like, medically naked? No, just say the expression, in the flesh. Okay, in person. Oh, let me guess, Homsar. You're a poem from the 60s. Ah, the yippy yuck bit my frontal lobe. <laughs> C 
Hey, Wingo. I really caught into your sunny bono from that one Scooby-Doo episode getting eaten by a pink and green cotton candy monster costume, and that's no lie. We all live in a yellow bath of scaff. G G four. Walk this way with me, fat dudge. A do 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 do. Do 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 do. Yes, that's it, the Aerosmith. Craft me an ample quiver's worth. Indeed, my backstaged boogie shall set trousers aflame. Hey, Strong's head. I really like your dad from ALF with gravy on his head costume. Mr. Shumway, tear down this wall. Between our house and the Ockmonic's house. And don't eat the cat. Hey, Homestar! More like, smells like your spirit! Because you're gonna die! Good one, Strongman! Our voices are so great!